Dear Sonia, how came opera into your life? That's always my first question, so let's hear your story. It was by chance because I was uh, always swimming in the classical music because I was playing the piano and I did all my studies. I was singing in choruses. And uh, you begin you begin very early. Did you begin I, very I early? I began. Yeah, I was six years old. Mm. So yeah, um, and at the age of fifteen, I I heard a woman singing. She was uh, there in one of the rehearsals I had with the chorus, I was in the chorus and she was the soloist. And uh, I couldn't uh, not be impressed because her voice was absolutely amazing, very crystalline, very pure, very nice. And I asked her, but where did you study this? And she said, no, I didn't study. This is a talent I have. I am just a, a, a teacher of mathematics in the university. Wow. And I said, oh my God, this is a God blessing. I have to try to, to, to see if I can produce a sound like this. And that's why, I started little by little to imagine singing like this and my mom was around and she said, I think you have to try. I was a teen in that epoch, I mean, age of 15. I had no idea about classical singing. Um, I was more touched by the color of the voice of this girl than the majestic picture of the opera, you know, it's, it, I, I, I was it really... It was the voice, the quality the voice. of the human voice that, uh, that made you want to, to enter express myself like this through the voice yeah. and and what did you do next well i i, I start immediately taking some lessons i had an audition with one uh, teacher she was absolutely great her name is nelly koicheva and she she is a mezzo soprano so she but she she, she knew quite well um, the human voice and not only the operatic voice so she was completely caring about me as an artist as as a, you know, person also. as a person also, she devoted herself immediately to me. It was love from first sight. Oh, that's so important, yeah. don't you think? Oh, it's yeah. so incredi incredible. It's incredible. You know, important. when you're young, you need to see people trusting you. So you can convince yourself to, to continue. And you have to have strong bases also. That's oh, yeah. so important oh, in yeah. order so that you can express yourself. So I was doing parallelly the piano and the singing together, but the singing was private. And, uh, you know, I had four years to decide which I love more. And then? And of course, the, the voice was, uh, was really powerful for me. It was uh, not only a mental experience, but also physical experience for me to, to you know, to just take out of your skin and from your body, from your cells. Uh, this kind of sound. It was impressive. It's also amazing your path because you come also, you begin very strongly in the Baroque music mm -hmm. and also later in a sense. And then your voice really developed into a, another totally new direction. Yes, and for that's me. that's so wonderful also for your own experience also. Oh yeah, and also, you know, I believe that as an artist, uh, I always had to find myself. I mean, I can't be and I refuse to be the same always. every day or always. I always Life is always to... changing. Yes, and you have to reinvent yourself. You need to, to push yourself to your limits to understand exactly the animal you are. <laughs> and did you do always that? Push yourself always. to the limits? Always. You really live intensively with a lot of passion. Yes, a lot of passion, a lot of... I learned a lot of uh, how to deal with the sacrifices this profession requires, but also how to respect this music, to respect the scores, to respect the tradition, to respect uh, the past, to respect the future. Uh, all the time loyal to and responsible to my music. It's very rare to find uh, the the soprano for this Norma, this amazing role. The artistry that her singing demands. And Sonia, you really have the voice for it. Mm -hmm. And the, the temperament also, because you have this dramatic power. How can you describe the, exig the exigences of this role? First of all, you have to be a very accomplished woman. So to be able to understand uh, to understand the life, not only of Norma, but of all of them. Because, you know, the composers, they were quite fascinated by the, hum by the human, but by the female nature. Don't you think that they, they are using the feminine material because we are the sacrificed ones? Of course. So it's perfect to cry about, 
to die for also because we are always dying in the plots I we mean, are always you know, the, the victims a little bit absolutely but also also i should say that uh, um, the the big big one big woman is always very fascinating for somebody to discover they inspired a lot of women emancipation like carmen did mm -hmm. a lot of women that now we have to stop being like we are Sometimes, but that's also a role of the art to question things, mm -hmm. to put in stake things that are happening and maybe are not so well or should be changed. And sometimes also with Norma, she's such a, a contradictory also character because she's a god, she's a priestess, and at the same time she did everything wrong. She is because a victim me, of her faith, of her love, of her passion also. For me, Norma was never the strongest character I ever performed. I should say I always found her very weak. Norma? Yes, because she never actually dared to really stand behind her feelings and, and, to confront and, and go him. for it and go to confront. And, and to, you know, if, if you are a strong woman, even if you have to be, even if you are on duty as she is, yeah you always have to find a way or to balance or to quit one for another and to make choice but not being in between and blaming everybody for it you know for me also a woman who dares to think that uh, she can kill her kids only because i mean a man left her i i, I in my life this would be impossible me too, I think a lot about, and you're a mother, and yeah. I'm too. And for me to think, because she uses the kids also to... Yeah, to, to, to try push to him. hurt him. Mm -hmm. But also, there are some explanations that say that they, she, she didn't want them to become slaves, Roman slaves. Yeah. But I think be. her mm -hmm. first impulse was to hurt was him. Was Okay, I'm going to destroy the fruit of our lives. Yeah, this is very, this is a huge weakness for But me. she doesn't go, she's not Medea. No, Medea is She has a, really a sense of what is good and what is wrong. She has limits. Of course, and, and that, hopefully. <laughs> and that's why she's so tragic, because... Because by the end, she pays everything, right? And uh, um, I do believe that, of course, Polioni has a big, uh, big role in this tragedy, because yeah. I believe, I believe actually that between them was a big, question of passion, of sex, of, you know, um, attraction, pretty much. And they were uh, two leaders for me, you know, two leaders. It's very difficult to live in the same room. <laughs> so do you think he, he found that Adalgisa was not so strong as Norma and was easy to convince her? It was easy us. to love her and it was easy to proceed, to proceed her. And she was also younger. That's also a tragedy that And happens. she would she would look at him as a god. It was an attraction between two lions, you know, and... Uh, they would eat each other. Yes, it's like the same, the same as Popea and Nerone. You know, they, they Nerone and Popea they finish also with a similar tragedy because he, for, for real, in the real story, he would just kill her while she was pregnant. I mean, that that's the proof that they are, they were in a very animal uh, relationship. Power <laughs> uh, fight. Mm -hmm. What a violence of relationships. We have so much Im imagination to create complicated situations. Yes, and emotionally I, we are a mess. <laughs> absolutely, and I think that even today is the case. So we cannot escape. From this. Uh, yeah, I think we are. We we will never es escape as you, escape as you say from our crazy nature. We need the tragedy, you know. I think the tragedy feels very. Um, inner very deep it's a uh, part of us emotions yeah. yeah we need i need sometimes me myself i need this so to are understand you, are you tragic in your life i'm very impulsive sometimes this is probably uh, this sometimes can be very positive because i with this impulse i could i could reach i could i could achieve i can you achieve do. and it's i do impulsive. but um, when it's about work the impulse with the intelligence gives results. <laughs> with the feelings, I'm not able to give any intelligence because it goes all through my heart. <laughs> but I think that's a very intelligent thing. Our heart is very intelligent. It is, yeah. Well, Sonia, <laughs> thank you so much for this wonderful interview. Thank you. <laughs> and for being such a great artist. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.